I'm going to play Terranigma, which is a, uh, it's like an action RPG game for the SNES. Is there any audio at all getting through? The planet possessed two souls. Okay. Light side and dark side. Forty six billion years since the planet's birth. Growth and decline circle to two wills. At the will of the light side, new life is born. At the will of dark side, ice ages descend. Light side wills intelligent beings. Rapid progress takes root. Hi, Gamester, how's it going? Dark Side's will breeds fear and disharmony. They came to be called God and Devil. I'm doing pretty good. This is some this is some JRPG stuff. <laughs> hands on the clock and the clock goes to 13 <laughs> and the clock is a, is the planet this game is weird it's good weird though I like it Terra Enigma just give me one second all right I'm gonna do it I'm pushing start how is the audio compared to my uh, compared to my voice? How's the audio? Are we good on audio? All right, but you can like you can still hear the game under me though, right? Like it's not so quiet that you can't hear it. You can just hear me. You can hear the game. All right, I'm going to do it. I'm going to push start. All right. We're going to go with the default name, which is Ark. I'm sure that's not at all a metaphor for something you know Japanese RPG is definitely lacking in metaphor chapter one the outset for the longest time the first time I played this game for the longest time I thought chapter one was the whole game <laughs> Are you all right? You, Ark, you look like you were having a nightmare. Nor does Final Fantasy VI for that matter. I've been having these strange dreams. Day in, day out, always the same. Ark, I never expected you would say such things. You should go outside. Crystal blue is in yellow and so must therefore be important is in the air and it's very pretty 
They should be. They should. Blah, blah, blah. They should help get your mind off bad dreams. Isn't that very nice? All right, so I can run around. I can. The running continues like after I hit the run button, he does it until I stop moving. I can walk. I can jump. And that's all I can do right now, really. I, oh yeah, so I can also run and jump. I can save my game, which I'm gonna do. And I get a nice little musical fanfare for saving my game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. So what do you have to say? Yo, Ark, I'll wake you up. Woohoo, the hot couple. Apparently I am part of a hot couple. The elder told me something before. He said, crystal blue are the tears of the outside world. I wonder what he meant. I wonder if we will find out. You gotta watch your pot. It's sort of boiling over there. Hi, Ark. You've come at the perfect time. Can you fetch me that vase there? I can't take my eyes off this just now. See, this is really great because the only way that you can do this... <laughs> I have no choice. There's no way for me to actually, like, give her that or put that down. Hey, Ark. Hey, how dare you, Ark? You can go hungry today. Ark is a badass. You will find out in a moment how much of a badass Ark is. I want to go outside and see Crystal Blue, but the guys tell me I'll go blind if I see it. Art, can you go check for me? Yeah, I could do that. Let's see what else is in here. Art, I heard you ruined everything over at the Weavers. Yeah, I am a badass. And before that, you swiped all the pumpkins at the garden. <laughs> you sure never give up. It's true. You got it good, Ark. I wish L would come wake me up. L is imaginatively named her in French. Or she, I guess. If I told you this, you'd probably laugh, Ark. But over at that door, you know, the one that the elder said we mustn't open. I can't, uh, I, I can't. Do you think, I mean, we're obviously not going to open it because the elder said not to. When you go past it, I get this spooky feeling, as if someone is calling my name. What's up, Ark? L wake you up again? You should be ashamed. Let's go up here. Ark, come here. Ark, I hear that yesterday you ruined all the weavings at the Weaver's Hall. Yeah, I'm a badass. Why do you always misbehave? Oh, I'm gonna make some excuses. Oh, I didn't do it. It was the chickens. It's their fault. Well, it was me that chased them into the weaver's place, but I'm not very good at lying, apparently. <laughs> Enough of your feeble excuses. Go apologize at once. Look, it's an RPG. I'm just gonna take the stuff in this chest. You meddler! Who granted you the right to open that chest? Okay, I'm leaving. I can't do anything with this door. I cannot push it open. Someone help. Can't actually do anything with that yet, so I'm just gonna leave it. We're gonna go outside. I'm in the town, Krista, and I assume those little Mode 7 blobs, or whatever they are, the translucent blobs, are... are crystal blue. Let's go over here. I'm going to go everywhere except the weavers first because there's stuff to do. Ooh, there's a fortune teller. <laughs> Ark, is it? Let's see your fortune then. Hmm, you have the look of trouble about you. You best take care. <laughs> okay. What's further up this way? Um, Are you up to no good again? I didn't know that there was a talking pumpkin over there. <laughs> a talking pumpkin wants to know if I'm up to no good again. Apparently, that's how badass my reputation is. Hey, Ark, come play with us. Nah, man, I'm like a teenager. I'm too cool for that. Sometimes I've seen what looks like a town in this pool. I wonder what it is. It's a reflection, dumbass. You're not 
all that bright, are you? <laughs> Let's go in here. Domicile. Ark, please don't teach the kids any more bad games, okay? Just yesterday, they threw and broke all the vases here. Ark knows what's up. Hey. <laughs> I'm not allowed to go out today because Crystal Blue is flying. Hey kid, you wanna you wanna learn a game? Yeah, breaking pots is fun. I can break this one too. I hope you learned something today, child. Snuffle, sniff. Oh, Ark, I had this really scary dream. I dreamt that everyone turns into ice. Snuffle, sniff. I would make you feel better, but there are no pots for me to throw, so my work here is done. Because Ark is a badass. Can I go down the well? I cannot go down the well. I can jump down ledges, though. This is the Weavers. I'm going to leave that for last. I have played this before, but it's been a while. Ark, did you see? I can jump good now. That's awesome. I wish I could jump like you. Yeah, I can jump. I can jump pretty awesome. You should. You guys should work on your pot throwing skills. It looks like a sign, but I can't actually open it. What am I doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm milling grains to make flour for breaking bread. Baking bread. This mill is well made. I wonder who thought up something like this. Yeah, it just kind of appeared out of nowhere. Ooh, more pots to break. Huh. What? Oh, it's you, Ark. I've been getting this weird feeling. Like I worked like this a long time ago. Weird, huh? You can laugh if you want. Heh. <laughs> Sigh. <laughs> yeah, that is a weird feeling. I wonder why you feel that way. I'm not worried about that though, because there are pots to smash. I don't know what Ark has against pots, but sometimes they block important and interesting things. Ooh. I stopped the machinery. What do you think about that? The gears have stopped. Darn it, who's responsible for this? I don't know I'm going to leave. What do you have to say, old man? I wonder what crystal blue is. Is it harmful to my crops? Probably not if we know what it is well enough that like we've seen it before. Ark, hey look, you can see things reflected in crystal blue. I can see people in places I've never seen before. It's really neat. I'm sure that's not at all important. This is a magi shop. Found throughout the world. Magi rock. It is my role to reshape their power. When you obtain magi rock, you shall bring it to me. <laughs> magi rock is a stone that seals magic inside. Not just once, but for many times. Magi rock stores magic spells. Consider it a bottle for keeping magic sealed. That, that's useful. I could buy stuff, but I have no money. I mean, really, I should just steal it. That seems like what this character does, but... Oh, yeah, totally. The the creepy laugh in the dark robe is the most trustworthy of individuals. Oh, I want to I want to test this out and see if this works. Uh, that bot apparently doesn't work. Ah, well. <laughs> That's alright. I'm still figuring stuff out. It's supposed to say, I am definitely a robot, or I am definitely a human being and not a robot. Mom said boys and girls are bound by a promise from an earlier life. 
Ark, were you and Elf friends from the past? Maybe. We're waiting for Elle because she's going to play with us later. Aw, well, Elle is very nice. I am a badass who breaks pots. Ark, I heard what you did. You should apologize right away. Yes, I definitely came straight here to apologize, and I definitely didn't walk around the entire town avoiding that. What am I doing? Embroidering. I draw pictures with threads on cloth. This game is educational. Elle's weavings are endowed with a special power of evoking happiness. I want to become an artisan weaver like Elle someday. Arts are important. What am I doing? Embroider- oh. That's the same as the other person. Four identical people who say two, and three of whom say exactly the same thing. That's not creepy at all, but there are pots and I must break them. I'm only doing this the first time through the town. I'll have to come back here and the pots will respawn. I'm not gonna do it again. <laughs> yes, Ark, Elle should be downstairs. She's weaving something the Elder asked for. I do appreciate that you can like jump off stuff in this game. And yeah, the river does seem a bit fast for fishing. I guess if you're trying to catch salmon with your face, that might be a good thing, but I don't think these people are bears. All right, let's advance the plot. What is it, Ark? You didn't come to cause trouble again, did you? If you did, I want you out of here. I can just leave. I only came to see Elle. It's none of your business, lady. Goodness, how dare you? Don't you feel the least guilt? No. Do you intend to give me more lip? I'm going to apologize because if I don't, the game will not continue. <laughs> er, well, I thought maybe I did a bad thing the last time. This is a real surprise. You honestly apologized. If you understand, it's all right. We pour our souls into our weavings. Don't you ever repeat that kind of foolishness again. All right. So, I've apologized. Let's go back to the Elder and tell him what a dick I am not anymore. Why do the adults dislike you, even though the kids really like you? I have trouble sleeping just thinking about that. Well, you see, I'm a badass, and adults don't like that. Because adults don't like to be reminded of the badasses that they are no longer. It's no good. The door won't budge. Even when three of us push, it won't open. It's not locked, but... Hey, Ark, just the guy we're looking for. The Elder has gone out. So there's this something we wanted to try. This blue door. The one we're not supposed to open. We want to see what's behind it. We've tried everything, but we can't get it to open. Ark, you want to give it a shot? Hell yes, I do. That sounds cool. I'll give it a go. Way to go, Ark. Maybe you can do it. Let's do it right now. All right, so I'm gonna tap in to my secret arc powers of throwing pots. Hey, there's a crack in the door. Way to go, arc. Yep. I'm definitely doing a good thing. There's three pots in case you miss. These people are all cowards, by the way. Help someone help me. Hey, did you hear something? I I think I've got a stomach ache. Coward. Me me too. My my head sorta of hurts. Uh I gotta go. You open it so you take care of it. Oh, I thought the originally dressed one with the interesting hair might be helpful, but uh, better believe I'm gonna go on and help. I'm gonna go down and find out what's down there. It's a long way down. So why does the old man have a creepy dungeon basement? Come, help, get me down. The hell is that? No, the seal can only be broken with strength and a calm soul. Now, soothe your soul. Calm down. Gently now. Touch this box.
a weird bat creature. I love the music here. Woo! That chair was cramped. I'm free. What is this? It spoke. Huh. You got something against me, Tuck? Besides, what do you mean by it? I have a proper name, you know. Yomi. Sheesh. Something weird came out. I am 100% in agreement with Eric here. That's why the Elder kept that box stored away. Nice guess, but you're wrong. The, f the fogey feared the feared his people will enter the world inside this box. For like the for the innocent folk here, the box's significance won't be clear. Box? What happened to that box anyway? Don't be so thick. You're holding it. Whoever breaks the seal on the box owns the right to gains the right to own it. From now on, you can go to and from the box by pressing the select key. Ah, uh, good old fourth wall breaking. I'll give you a personal tour of this here box. Come along. See, this is inside the box. You can freely get in and out. This is the jewel box. Magic rings and summon metals are placed in here. You can also check your stock of magic rock for making red magic. To use magic, go to the item room and equip this jewel box. This is the battle handbook. If you don't know how to do an attack, read this. This is the strength mirror. You can check your strength, defense, luck, and experience points. Uh, I am actually using an 8-bit though controller, so it is actually just the select button for me. <laughs> this is the settings menu. You can change the config settings here. This is the map. Check it in a dungeon to see where you are. This is the journey guidebook. It has many helpful tips, so be sure to read it later. Also, Gamester4, I am shocked and offended that you would think I would have illegitimate copies of video games. So we got an item room. Items are stored here. Press the X button. If you want to show someone an item, equip it beforehand. For a description about an item, point to the item and press L. I'll describe it. It's the same as weapons and armor. Behind me is the whole hole. It consumes anything if you want to put stuff in the trash. Because of your limited space, that's where it goes. Let's go to the next room. This is the weapon room. Weapons you obtain are stored here. Be careful, you have to be equipped with a weapon to use it. Let's go to the next room. We got an armor room. Don't forget to equip yourself with armor for protection. And we're back to the center. Go explore this box yourself. You should go to the weapon room again. There was a blinking thing in there. Yeah, you're exactly correct. Um, <laughs> but yeah, this is this is an emulator. I'm using the uh, Retro Arch emulator uh, and an 8-bit Doe controller. It's uh, an SN30 Pro, so it's compatible with my Switch as well. It's got the dual joysticks, the SNES-style D-pad and buttons. It's got the two shoulder buttons as well on either side. It's pretty nice. It was worth the 50 bucks or so that I paid for it. Canadian. It's a little cheaper in the States. Ark, the seal has been undone. Can you hear me? I have awaited here for someone who could use me at will. Humans, upon gaining intelligence, will learn of my existence. Using me, humans will gain power and expand their world, and time will revolve as it ever has. Like others before you, you have opened this box and met me. Have you the courage to use me? Hell yes! You thought I was badass with pots? Wait till I've got a fucking spear! Ark obtained a weapon. Huh. Looks like it took a liking to you. Oops, it looks like you've got company, Ark. Best go outside. <laughs> I, I take it you're not a fan of intelligent magic items in D&D then. Right, Gamester? Ark, are you alright? I heard that you came in here. What is that? Sheesh, that's some great reception I get. I don't know, but it appears harmless. What's up, L? I don't know. 
Ark, I'm frightened. I, I feel terribly scared. I get this feeling that something is starting. Something that really frightens me. So please, don't leave me all alone. Uh, no, this isn't my first playthrough, uh, Martin. Also, hi. Um, I have played this before. It was a long time ago. I recently played the first, like, four dungeons or so just to sort of re-familiarize myself with the controls and stuff. But after that, it's going to be relatively new. I sort of vaguely remember it. Um, I do remember enjoying it, though. <laughs> L? L, what's the matter? Hey, you! What did you do to L? Ooh, scary! We're right about now. Everyone in the village should be like that. <gasps> well, why are you giving me that look? It's not my fault. I was just trapped inside the box. But I owe you one for freeing me, so I'll tell you. A way to get back that their girl back to normal. Get out of this cozy village and explore the world you live in. There was literally no way out of the town, by the way, when I was walking around before. There was no exit. <laughs> You should be able to discover the future that's been invested in the box. Later. Yeah, it's it's definitely a neat story. It goes to some weird JRPG places, uh, but I'm a big fan. Thanks for tuning in, by the way. How are things going on your end, Martin? Oh boy. What's happening here? Say something. Everybody's frozen, Eric. Let's... Okay, the old man is not frozen. Hey, what happened here? Tell me, Gramps. You enormous fool! It is you who has brought about this situation. I decreed that the door must never be opened because I feared of this, but we cannot leave the people the way they are. Do you wish to return them to normal? <laughs> Doesn't matter. Hey, Granddad. If you know how, why don't you deal with it? What? You arrogant pup. Well, so be it then. I shall be in my room. Come to me if you change your mind. <laughs> I love that the game continues to just let you be a dick. <laughs> Oh yeah, if you let Ark stand still, he gets this great little pose. Just gonna give it a second. His idol. He idols. <laughs> hey man, hands on my hips. I am ready to go. Alright, Ark, let's be badasses together. Have you changed your mind? Yeah. Yeah, I want the plot of the game to continue. If you know how, tell me now, Granddad. So be it. Ark, go out of the village. Five towers await you. <laughs> outside the village? What's outside the village? What do you mean by towers? The gate is open. But have you the ability to succeed? Probably not. I'm not really good at video games. What is it, Ark? I can get healing. I can also just sleep. <laughs> Resting in bed will also relieve you of ills. Outside, your crystal spear will hold you over time. Will heal you over time. I know English. Thanks. Have a good night, eh, Martin? Uh, outside, your crystal spear will heal you over time. This only works in the first in the first world. <laughs> if you wish to cure yourself at once, use a healing bulb. Now, be on your way. Take what you find in that chest. He's got a different opinion about the chests now that there's a crisis going on. Uh, definitely a boomer. It should be of use. Ark obtained some money. Yeah, stop holding, oh, stop hoarding the cash, boomer. Take what you find in that chest. It should be of use. I got an S bulb. That's short for small bulb, which means it only heals me a little bit. I am going to go in here. I am going to... Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Boomer needs Millennial to fix this shit. You want to use it or equip it? I want to equip it. So if I hit the X button, that'll give me healing now. I believe the small bulbs, bulbs heal 30. I don't have anything in my jewel box. I do need to equip my weapon. 
And I also need to equip my clothes because apparently Ark has been running around naked this whole time. And then I'm going to go to the center door and I'm going to change one setting. I'm going to change the window to green. I don't know what that change is. We're going to leave that. Don't need the map. Don't need the guidebook. My strength mirror. I am currently at strength a natural 3 plus 3 for my armor. Or plus 3 for my spear. I'm at defense 2 plus 3 for my uh, plus 2 for my armor. I have 3 luck. Alright. We'll back out of here. Alright. Time to step out into the world and experience. What? What? What is this? So this is the gate Gramps was talking about. Outside, huh? Sounds exciting. I'll go anywhere. You can tell that outside is important because it's in mode 7. I do like the music for this game a lot, actually. It's quite good. Tower 1. So that's what a tower is. Okay, I was kidding, but this is actually Ark's line. <laughs> I'm getting excited here. Ark is a badass. Okay, big face in the door. Whoa! Hey, hey you, don't spook me like that. I am the guardian. What business have you here? What? Save friends. The people of the village have been frozen. What do I have to do? Tell me. Then step forth into the tower. Within wander countless souls of living things. Reach the uppermost floor and gain the power to control the world. Ark, will you test your fate? Sure. And apparently I can just walk right out the other side. Now I have to go inside. So I can run around. I can jump. I can do normal attacks. I can do fast attacks, I can do jump attacks, I can do dash attacks, and I can do jump dash attacks. I can also put up a shield. The little hue balls ain't shit. <laughs> Some doors don't open until I kill all the enemies. Different enemies take damage, take more damage from different types of attack. Like these guys take more damage out from jump attacks and from stab attacks. The ground enemies like that take more damage from that kind of attack. Found my first Magirock. Sorry, that was Magirock. I didn't let that play up there. We're going to go down because the way forward is not yet open. Ah, yeah. I am a wandering soul. Living things have been transformed into monsters. Like you have saved me, save the others. So I don't have to kill them all to get through this door, but I will because... Nice. Critical hit. Experience are good, experience are good. Experience is good, especially early on. It's helpful. All right, big armored dudes. Ow. All right. Nice. Arc level two. Life up five. Strength up one. 
<laughs> nice. All right, so they're both dead. I love this. This is great. Your strength is being tested. Fighting alone is not strength. Observation is the solution. So I'm just going to wander around for a bit, and I'm going to see if anybody notices. You're the only one watching, so I'm just going to see if you see where I'm supposed to go. Because the very first time I played this, it took forever. Got another small bulb. Where do you think I'm supposed to go, Gamester? Do you know? Can you see? Did you see it? If you look at the windows and you play the old Sesame Street game of one of these things is not like the others, you can go through that one. It took me, f I'm pretty sure I had to look it up the first time I played this game. <laughs> Yeah. This is the tutorial. This is the tutorial's tutorial. Okay, so I can drop down there. I can also come down here. I want that magic rock. So, let's show you. You can stun lock. <laughs> if you slam him back up against the wall. The only reason that works is because he's not moving backwards. Because normally when I hit him, he bounces back and then he smashes me with the thing. But if I can pin him up against the wall, I can just stun lock him like that. <laughs> so yeah, not blind. <laughs> there are some monsters that are so small that you have to hit them with that sliding attack like that. Oh wait, no, I want to deal with this feller first. Ouch. Ow. Oh yeah, totally. It's definitely inappropriate cheese when it's being done to you. But when you are stun locking someone else, it is a totally valid use of the game's uh, mechanics. It's not super exciting to watch, but <laughs> it's probably about as exciting to watch as the repeated dash attacks, so. Okay, just want to make sure there's nothing else over here. I'm pretty sure I'm just done. Ark, you have done well to reach here. The monsters you felled, they are people's souls transformed. Upon overcoming this challenge, they will regain their forms. So saying, Guardian held aloft a hand. Oh, crap. These little red dudes have armor in certain situations. Also, Guardian's a prick. But I'm better than the slightly meaner red balls. Guardian's voice echoed. Earth is trying to revive the breath of life. Land is on the verge of resurrection. Ark, that door leads to the space for land's control. You may enter. And I gained a level. Life up a bunch, defense up, luck up. Don't know what my uh don't know what my blood type is though. I'm just gonna let this happen because this is kinda kinda neat. The music is really good.
really did a lot with what the SNES had available to it. There we go. On this day, Eurasia was resurrected. Alright, so that's the first dungeon. <laughs> go on through the second dungeon and then I'll probably take a quick break because I've been live for like almost an hour now yeah about 50 minutes <laughs> we've always been at war with Eurasia all right I c the, the most dangerous weapon I can throw flaming pots Also, if you're at all thorough attacking enemies in this first part, you get you get OP pretty fast. More Majorock. Majorock is a good thing to have. It's not super important early on in the game, but there's definitely a point at which you want to be blasting away with the spells. I was holding R. Guess I was facing the wrong direction, probably. Pay heed to the statues and the color of the jewel in the forehead. That is good advice. Sweet, more money. Forehead jewel is red. A little slow on the R button there. Oh, that's that second time it was definitely me. Switches that glow gold. What changes do they bring? What a passive aggressive question. They don't even glow gold. They just get depressed. By which I mean pushed down, I don't mean sad. Ooh, the cadet. I haven't seen one of these yet. Oh no! Okay, so what happens there is when our eyes meet after every certain amount of time, it's actually like a 50-50. And, it, and it's not even a 50-50, it's like a 1 in 3 chance that I get immobilized, it's like a 1 in 3 chance that he gets immobilized, and it's like a 1 in 3 chance that nothing happens. So I got the bad luck one there, but it's like 1 in 3, so... But I'm not too far away from one-shotting them, so it shouldn't be a big issue. Flaming Pot of Doom! So, hit that button. Let's just... Oh my god, that's two bad runs in a row. The odds of that are not great. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, 
You may have noticed I haven't bothered to heal. The main reason for that is because I know that my spear will... My spear heals me slowly over time in the, like, tutorial dungeons. I can't remember. I think hitting all the buttons lets me... Yes, it opens down here. That's right. It opens the middle. Oh man, so many statues. That's one. There's another red one over here. Oh, and more Magirock. This is all about like, do you know the difference between red and green? Colorblind people need not apply to be heroes. And here is the big puzzle. I can't reach the switch. I can't jump over there. So Ark once again has to rely on his greatest skill, throwing pots. You have done well to get here. <laughs> so it shall be. Enter. Same guy. I'm not even sure what he is really. I don't think I ever fight him or anything. I think he's just just the guy. This game really is like an examination of what you can do with the graphics of the SNES. And the answer is a surprising amount. <laughs> I think that's supposed to be the Amazon, because this is South America, obviously. Also, I really like the way that the map is organized with the Americas on the right. <laughs> it's such a weird, like, different way of doing that. On this day, S. America was resurrected. More people, more people back. All right, so I am going to pause this for now. I will be back in about five minutes. I'm just going to like have some water and not be talking for a minute. <laughs> 